Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm George, this is Malaka Motorsports and today we're going to be talking about the VR6 swap. Specifically today I'm going to be talking about my 24 valve VR6 swap. Most of us use the VR5 or if not the Phaeton drivers oil filter housing engine bracket. And what, is that? what do I mean by that? And I'll show you a picture real quick. So in Europe, not here in the States, don't mind this, this is cracked, this has been cracked for a while. Uh, in Europe, a VR5 engine came lo longitudinally mounted and they use this engine bracket. Also in the, in the VR6 Phaeton, the Volkswagen Phaeton, uh, came a 3.2 liter using a similar uh, oil filter housing slash engine bracket to mount to the chassis. The difference between the Phaeton and the VR5, if you look at the VR5, the VR5 is about a 45 degree angle roughly, and the Phaeton is literally just straight 90 degree. That's the only difference because of the differences in subframes between the B5 and the Phaeton chassis. Um, I'm also running a MoCal oil cooler that's been adapted to run where the normally the coolant cooled oil cooler would go on top here. These lines run to the front of the motor where I have an oil cooler in the front. I think it's like 12 or 13 row. I have it disconnected now because the engine's out. But this is what I run. I also run a uh, Napa little T-fitting that we ended up putting together. One for oil pressure and temp and then the other one for uh, turbo feed. So we tapped it right off the little sensor housing that was here. We ended up tapping it, screwing it in, and I haven't had any issues with any leaks or anything like that, but uh, that's what I'm running now for mounts. What I'm gonna be introducing today, uh, which I'm gonna be testing out, torture testing, as soon as we get the car back together, launching, beating the crap out of, is now instead of using an OEM driver side bracket with a custom passenger side, now someone has gone and made, and a beautiful set too, by the way, heavy duty, engine brackets that has the oil filter housing kept in mind along with a mounting bracket that bolts up to it and i'm gonna start mounting it up here in a second to show you guys what it looks like but ibet industries has put together this kit and it's going to be a new passenger bracket and a new driver's bracket and it still has all the built-in goodies that you'll need in order to run this not only for the 24 valve but for the 12 valve as well. Today we're gonna to be talking about 24 valves only. However, they carry engine bracket kits. For those of you guys who wanna swap a VR6 in your older Audi B5, B6, B7, now instead of going and trying to get something custom made and, and having issues with it or going with an OEM mount that cracks, that's still really expensive. You know, guys are selling these OEM mounts for uh, 200 to about 400, to, about 200 to $400, depending on who you go with. And then again, um, I haven't had any major issues other than getting parts for it. So the O-rings on the inside for the VR5 are few and far between. Custom suck. I ended up ordering O-rings 15 times out of the 15 times twice it came through. And out of the ones that twice came through, a few of them were damaged and I had to use some silicone in order to kind of seal this up. Again, the hassle of going with an OEM part is you're gonna get something that's not made anymore that's cast material, you know, for their time, they were really strong, but with these cars making seven, eight, nine, a thousand horsepower, Chris Green's down in USP Motorsports is making 12, 13, 1400 horsepower. You know, these items become pretty much obsolete and you're gonna need to go with something a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more powerful, and something that can take the abuse of someone beating the crap out of these cars. So that's where IABET Industries came in with this engine bracket kit, which we're gonna mount up. So first I'm gonna remove the driver's side oil filter housing kit and I'm going to show you guys how it installs and how it still uses this MoCal oil cooler kit and what I had to use and what parts and so on and so forth. So without further ado guys let me install this bad boy get some time-lapse footage for you guys and then after it's installed I'll go over it explain it and then show you the benefits and why swapping to this bracket kit other than the obvious benefits of having a really strong well-made high quality unit we'll go over some of the benefits here in just a second. All right, so these are just basic tools that I use to kind of uh, start taking this apart. 13 mil for the hex heads on the centers near the uh, oil filter housing. And on the corners, it's a, a six Allen. And I even use a crescent wrench to kind of loosen some of the lines there. I was having a tough time with that oil feed line. I guess it kind of, the, the and portion of it on the line side kind of froze there for a second. But uh, able to kind of just loosen up the MoCal oil cooler, which came off fairly easy. And again, I'm going to show you guys how we retrofit this and how we made it to look and, and what parts did we use. And again, all the parts that we did use are included in the kit with Imbed Industries. So when you do order this, uh, after we kind of prove this setup, if everything goes well, just let them know you'll, you'll need it. And you'll see later on in the video what I'm talking about. But 
Everything here is pretty straightforward. Again, the only thing that sucks about this, it's just a large cast unit that's not made anymore. The people in Europe are charging an arm or a leg for it because they figured out that the American guys are, are doing uh, VR6 swaps, so they started charging a premium for some of these brackets, unfortunately. You know, eight years ago, nine years ago, you get these for like 30 bucks, you know, um, euros, um, probably like 60, 60 euros shipped. But it came out fairly simple, just a good amount of seals on the back of that flange. Um, so I'm just going to clean that up and put it together. And as you'll see, uh, as we get that off and apart, I'll show you what it guys looks like in the oil bin and go over it and kind of go into more detail about the VR5 factory unit. The engine bracket and the mount is off and you can see from the backside this is where it mates to the motor. Uh, you can see the good amount of seal that I had to cake up in between this o-ring that didn't fit really perfectly. Uh, and that's been on there for... shit... 2015? 2014? Uh, and hasn't, hasn't leaked since till I just pulled it off. So, um, again, not the best way to do it, to use silicone, but uh, we ended up using it and we didn't have any leaks. So this is the mating flange here. And I'm going to show you guys the benefits to going with that style engine bracket and oil filter setup as opposed to this. This has a paper filter that's on the inside. Let me tell you, because of the subframe that's underneath the car, uh, it's a pain in the butt to get to. And it gets a little messy with oil changes in terms of having to pull up paper filter out, having to clean the inside, check for flakes. Um, and we're going to get to what's so special about that one. Uh, other than it being custom and stronger and actually the, the quality being higher versus a cast piece, um, what benefits func function-wise did that setup bring? And let's get into that right now. Now we're going to go on to the iBet Industries. This is going to be CNC machined, high quality material. It's got the built-in filter oil housing here, oil tap feed on the sides. I'm telling you right now, uh, between the, even just the weight, I'd say it's roughly around the same weight. So you don't get any weight advantages there in terms of the brake, but now you obviously got uh, standard O-rings in the back in terms of what's going on in the flange. No more hunting for you know European only gaskets. You can buy these and get these done pretty much anywhere. Uh, and the really big benefit, like I said, the oil filter again is a standard man oil filter that goes inside. It's a paper filter, but you have to open it. It creates a mess. You have to unscrew it from the bottom. It's a cap actually. So this cap comes off, and it's a paper filter on the inside that you got to dislodge in order to replace it. Um, haven't had any issues with it yet, but it's not as convenient as it could be, especially, you know, we swapped VR6s in to make these things a lot more accessible and, and a lot easier to work on, which it is. can probably pull a VR out in about 45 minutes. The engine comes apart in about uh, a quarter of the time, and the parts are cheaper, and these things make more power. But onto this bracket, one advantage, and again, this is not a filter that I'm going to be using, but I'm just showing it for an example, is now the oil filter options. So if you don't want to run an oil cooler, this is going to be your oil change. And the really cool thing about this is, oh, you're looking at it, well, when you unscrew that, it's going to be, oil's going to leak here. It's actually really something cool that they kind of developed into this bracket. So as you're under the car, and you see this little channel here that's in the middle, it's going to install right here. So any oil that drips down, that comes right down, it's going to go right here, and you can easily put a drip pan. It's going to funnel right down here, and it makes oil changes a lot more convenient. It makes this a lot more simple in terms of where it's located, the parts, and the type of filter too. So now I don't have to rely on a paper filter. Now I can get a high quality mobile one or maybe another man or whatever type of filter you guys prefer can screw on there and it's a standard thread. So that's one of the cool things here. So I'm going to install this bad boy and I'm going to put my oil filter adapter which uh, I bet industries included with this kit when I made the request when I purchased it. So I'm going to be running an oil cooler. And why I have this, I'm going to showcase here in just a second. Okay, guys? So just give me a minute and we'll start installing this. All right, so let's install this bad boy. Got the hardware here. Uh, let's see where everything fits, how everything goes, really. Um, I think, okay, so I think this goes on the inside here. This wire goes over it. I like, oh, look, it's got a little machine part to cover for the uh, crank sensor. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is it the same bit I was using before, too? Is that a uh, six? So I actually messed up on the left side. Um, there's a dipstick that's supposed to go there and you're supposed to install it beforehand. Now the Mark V dipstick is the one that fits and I'll get the part number. I'll try to supply it on the description or if not in the comments in the video, but uh, it's easier to install before applying this mount on. Uh, you can do it afterwards. It's just, it, it, it's a little bit of a pain, but just keep in mind as you guys are doing this, uh, if you end up picking up this kit, 
just to place the dipstick in, in, in the section there on the left side uh, prior to installing this bracket. But pretty straightforward install. Uh, the holes are really tight tolerance, and I know why they did that, because it's a mounting surface, obviously, for the engine, and they don't want any slop. But just keep in mind, just be careful as you guys are threading these in. The, the tolerances are very, very precise and very, very, oh, it's clear, very, very precise and very, very tight. So just be careful as you guys are going into, you don't strip nothing. So it's actually installed and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, metal filter now with, is the advantage with going with this new iBet Industries oil filter housing kind of engine bracket that's already built in. Again, easy install and the kind of cool thing, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, I probably did a couple times, forgive me if I'm repeating, but this is, again, uh, these are the little things that kind of really matter in terms of these swaps uh, is accessibility. Instead of an oil filter housing on the bottom that had uh, a built-in oil filter that was hard to get to, that always hit the subframe and it sucked, always made a mess in terms of getting oil everywhere when you emptied it. Um, now we have this setup for my bed in terms of a two-piece, bolts into each other, mates to the block, oil filter engine bracket for the VRS6 swap. And again, look, I can unscrew, okay? And then as soon as you unscrew it and it's loose, now you got oil going in everywhere, that's not a problem because look, it has a built-in drain and you just sit the oil filter right into it. Look at that, isn't that cool? And then on the bottom is where you leave your drain pan underneath the car and everything drains out of that port. And it's not close to the engine and it's not close to the engine mount, it's gonna drain right there on the spot. Now look at that, look how easy that makes it. And we're gonna install it in the car and test it and see if it you know, comes in the way with anything. But right now on my little uh, morning wood table that's holding this giant engine and uh, holding the uh, <laughs> giant turbo that's attached to this engine up, uh, this looks really, really good. Again, don't have to change anything in terms of my engine feed, um, in terms of my turbo feed. I have my little Napa oil fitting set up. That's where you see it kind of in brass. But again, now I can run any type of uh, oil filter, metal can that kind of screws in. And I have my built-in oil cooler here from Mocal that adapts to this now with this fitting that iBed provided. So again, install, see if I can get this one-handed. All right, we'll screw right in. But man, look at the quality. Again, I just, just blown away. Engine mount kind of mounts right up and you're good to go. Bolts in just like you would any other engine mount. And now you can swap this motor, bolt it right into the VR6. And look at that, look how clean and look how beautiful and the silhouette is so much smaller and it looks so much better too. But, it, but again, you know, what's really big about this channel and what we do, me and Stav, we did this VR6 to make things easier, the VR6 swap. Easier to pull, easier to take apart, parts are cheaper and it makes a lot more power. So it only makes sense that we would ditch this OEM style VR5 engine bracket uh, and go with something more efficient and just goes along with the, the stigma of the car in terms of, you know, efficiency, easy to work on. Again, when I say easy to work on, these cars at this power level, things are going to happen. You're going to need to take this thing apart. You need to pull the motor. You're going to need to do oil changes all the time after the track, before the track, whatever the case may be. So you need to make this car as accessible and easy to work on. You don't want to hate working on your car, right? Because it defeats the purpose. So when we went with the swap, we tried making things as easy as possible, but we've learned some hard lessons. But with iBet Industries kind of coming out with these brackets, and this has been a long time in the making. Uh, we're going to test these on both cars, and we're going to see if they hold up to torture testing. But as brolic as they are, you got to see how solid they are. Look at that. I have no doubt that these things would take any abuse any would throw at it. I mean, again, I'm not trying to say anything pompous straight out the bat. This is not a paid advertisement. I'm not being paid to advertise for this, but... We test different stuff on this channel and we see if it works or we see if it doesn't. And if it doesn't, we upgrade and we do something else. So, I don't know. I have a really good feeling that this thing just looks absolutely solid. Um, and the cool thing about this is, is that this is not an advertisement. You can't buy them now because iBet Industries will not release them to the public till we test these. Which is so cool because how many companies, how many brands out there are just posting pictures on parts they didn't even test. They haven't even bolted them up to their shop cars or got anyone to put any miles on them. And they're selling stuff already. They're trying to make money off of you. So uh, kudos to iBet Industries for kind of taking this move and not selling not one. And actually taking the high road and not selling one and waiting for these to be properly tested. Because... Uh, us, Assam, aka iBet Industries, INA Engineering, because we've been doing business with this guy for such a long time, uh, gave us a call, hey, do you want to pick up some brackets? Here's what the price is, see if they work. If they do, 
then I'll mass produce them, I'll sell them. If they don't, we'll take it back to the drawing table and then we'll figure it out. So he wants to develop and develop really great products for this car. The VR6 swap is coming back strong. There's a lot of people doing the swap. A lot of people are excited about it. Um, there's a lot of people trying to make power with it, which is so cool because 10 years ago, it was dead. Six years ago, it was a dead. And just last three or four years, it's just resurged, which is so exciting for us. And for those of you guys that haven't joined already, check out our performance group on Audi Performance Builds and Projects on Facebook. And then check out our Instagram if you have it, Amalaka Motorsports. We post content there every day. And on the Facebook group, again, if you don't even have a Facebook, Make an account just for this group if you're into big Audis in terms of big power builds, custom projects. Guys are posting their stuff all over the world. LS Swap Audis, top mounted turbo Audis. Uh, they're doing Fox Body Mustangs with 2.7T Audi motor swaps. Again, people just like me and you that love, love the brand, love their cars and just wanna go faster and do some cool stuff. So check us out on there. Um, I wanna talk about the passenger bracket really quick. So, uh, he also sent, which looks like a different version, because I have the first version of his engine brackets on the passenger side, which are a little bit beefier, but aluminum. And these have a smaller silhouette, and they're steel. Uh, absolutely beautiful. They are heavy. They are heavy duty. Feels like you can, give, you can knock somebody out with one of these. I mean, I would say maybe it weighs about 10 or 15 pounds, maybe heavier. This thing is solid. But it has a smaller silhouette, so it looked like it would take up half the space. So if that's important, depending on what kind of exhaust setup you have. As you see, I have the two dump tubes coming off the turbine uh, in terms of the tubular manifold, uh, off the gates, I mean. So um, I don't know. Mine, it should fit over there. It shouldn't have a problem. But again, it comes with this passenger bracket. I don't think I'm going to install it. Maybe I should. Uh, and then test this one out as well to make sure it's good. Yeah, we'll install that later on. But I wanted to talk about this driver's side engine bracket. And I guess get this on this channel, get this episode out to let you guys know that there are options out there. You don't have to shop for 20 year old parts anymore that are weak and break and hard to get and still expensive. I mean, the guys in Europe have kind of caught wind to all of us using these brackets. Uh, I don't want to take credit for it. It was myself and Assam. We were spending like hundreds of dollars a month buying different engine brackets left and right. This was back in like 2010 to like 2014. Uh, trying out different engine brackets to see what would work. And we found the VR5 engine bracket to work and the Phaeton. And now all the guys in Europe are like, oh, the American dudes want these? Oh, instead of 50 bucks, now it's $400. So well played Germany, well played UK for trying to make money off the Americans in terms of parts, but kind of sucks because they're only available there. So for those of you guys that are struggling to get this stuff, uh, keep in mind there is an option now uh, and it is from iBet Industries. And we're gonna test the hell out of it and see if it holds up. But I look how thick this steel is. It's steel brackets and they're heavy duty as hell. So I'll let you guys know if they work, but I wanted to get this episode done to show you guys how it installs, the benefits of it, and the reason why I wanted to switch. When Assam told me, I was like three, four years ago when he wanted to make really, really nice engine brackets so people don't have to scour eBay and get used damaged parts and have to like fight to get like O-rings and supplies for them. He wanted to supply a really badass set of engine brackets that people could just bolt up and drop a motor into a bay. And with these, you can. Profile is set for the B5, for the B6, and it's absolutely beautiful. And it works with the 034 engine mount, which is kind of cool. So if you have 2.7T or 1.8T engine mounts in your car, you can literally repurpose them, bolt them up to this, and now you have a bolt-in option that would literally fit inside your car. Oh man, I'm beyond excited about this. Um, the car is still down. Uh, we're still waiting for a few companies to open up that went on furlough, unfortunately, during this hard time that you know our country and then the world is having. So uh, during our downtime, we're going to start installing and testing and fitting a lot of these parts. The rear diff, we got a lot of stuff going on, guys. We got about, I'd say about three, four more videos coming out in the next 10 days. And we want to get you guys this content. We want you guys' opinion on it. We want you guys to comment on the videos and like it and let us know what you like and what you don't like about the video. But we're trying to bring you the latest and greatest here. We're trying to innovate. We're trying to develop. And that's it. That's all I got for this episode. That's it. This is the 24-valve VR6 engine bracket install for the Audi B5, B6, and I believe the B7 as well. So I'm really excited. I'll post this as a part one to a part two, part three series. But for those of you guys in the Audi world, especially the VR6 swap Audi world, there's some exciting stuff that's happening that looks really promising. Look at this bad boy. Oh. Anyway, I'm George. This is Malaka Motorsports. I almost tripped. I'm George. This is Malaka Motorsports. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys for the support. 
And as always, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care and stay safe.